What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another draw preview, and we have the Rome Open 2021 for the ATP this week. It's a combined event with the WTA, very similar to Madrid last week, and we've got some big names playing. Some big names are back this week, but we also have some names that are not playing, so let's go to the withdrawal list. So some of the names that are pulled out before the tournament has even begun. Borna Choric, he's not playing. Better is also out. Isner's not playing. Rayonic and Stan Wawrinka is still recovering from surgery he had a couple of months ago. All right, starting at the top of the draw, and we have 16 seeds in this one and the top eight seeds get a buy in the first round the world number one Novak Djokovic he's back this week as the defending champion from Rome 2020 he'll get a buy in the first round he'll take on the winner of Fritz versus Evans and if you'll remember Monte Carlo Dan Evans actually beat Novak Djokovic so we might get a replay in the second round of that upset win a couple of weeks ago then we have two qualifiers going at it the winner of that match is going to take on either a qualifier or the number 16 seed Dimitrov in the second round then we have the number nine seed Berrettini taking on Basilashvili that's a really fun match to watch two very informed players so keep an eye on that one winner of that's going to take on either Milman or Lajevic in the second round then we have Chilich versus Bublik another first round match to watch out for winner of that's going to take on number five seed Stefano City Pass so it's a pretty stacked draw with a lot of players that are in form and some dangerous players especially for the big seeds you got to keep an eye on Novak got to keep an eye on City Pass but I'm also interested to see how Berrettini does this week after doing really well in Madrid last week. And also keep an eye on Bublik because he is a dangerous player and he has proven that over the last couple of months. Going to the second quarter of the draw, we've got Dominic Team, the number four seed. He gets a buy in the first round. He'll take on the winner of Pella versus Fucevic in the second round. Then we have Major versus Dimonor. Winner of that match is going to take on either Sonigo or the number 14 seed, Gael Monfils, who we haven't seen for a long, long time. So good to see Monfils back in the draw. Then we've got the number 10 seed, Batista Agu. He gets a qualifier in the first round. Winner of that's going to take on either Harris or Christian Garen in the second round. Then we've got a qualifier taking on Struff. Winner of that's going to take on number seven seed Rublev in the second round. So, of course, you've got to watch out for the big two seeds in this one. Team, who did really well in Madrid last week, and Rublev, who, of course, did really well in Monte Carlo a couple of weeks ago. But also watch out for Garen being unseeded. That is going to be a very tough opponent for potentially Rublev in the third round. And I'm also interested to see how Monfils does this week. We haven't seen him for a long time, it feels. So maybe he could put on a show and get some form before his home slam. All right, going to the bottom half of the draw now, we've got Diego Schwartzman the number eight seed. He gets a buy in the first round. He'll take on the winner of Krajanovic versus Oje Aliasim, who are playing in the first round. Then we have Hashinov versus a qualifier. Winner of that's going to take on either Caruso or the number 12 seed Goffan in the second round. Then we have a blockbuster first round match between the number 15 seed Hercatch and of course the Miami Open champion against the wildcard Musetti. Circle that one is one to watch. Winner of that match is going to take on either Gasquet or Opelka in the second round. Then we have Kecmenovic versus Karatsev. Winner of that's going to take on number three seed, Daniel Medvedev. So for me, this is a very wide open draw. A lot of good unseeded players as well. Of course, you got to watch out for Medvedev. Let's see if he can put some matches together before the French Open in a couple of weeks. And Diego Schwartzman, he's coming off a semi-final at Roland Garros last year. But I'm interested to see how Karatsev does this week, who might be a potential second round opponent for Medvedev. And also keeping an eye on Musetti as well, playing in front of his home crowd. See how he can do this week. Going to the last quarter of the draw now, we've got the number six seed, Alexander Zverev. He gets a buy in the first round. He'll take on the winner of a qualifier or Manorino in the second round. Then we have a really big first round match between Nishikori and Fanini. Circle that one as one to watch. Battle of the veterans there. Winner of that match will take on either Jera or the number 11 seed Karino Busta in the second round. Then we have a battle of the youngsters. The number 13 seed Shapovalov taking on Kasper Rudd in the first round. Very interested to see how that one goes. Winner of that match is going to take on either Travalia or Pear in the second round. Then we have Umber versus Sinner. And the winner of that match gets to play against number two seed Rafael Nadal. And you can probably see right away we might get a quarterfinal replay between Zverev and Nadal, who actually played in Madrid last week with Zverev winning in straight sets. So, so there's a potential for that. But also, you got to watch out for Sinner. Very dangerous unseated player, possibly playing Nadal in the second round if he wins. And also Kasper Ruud, who's been in some really good form over the last couple of weeks. So there it is, the Rome Open for 2021 for the ATP. Let me know down in the comments below, who do you think is going to win this week? And who are you most excited to watch this week? Because it's a preview of the French Open in a couple of weeks. All the big names are playing including Novak Djokovic. He's back as the number one seed. So let me know down in the comments below how well do you think he's going to do and how... So like I said, this is kind of a preview into the French Open because we have all the big names playing. So it's very tough to pick. But I think I'm going to go with Rafa Nadal this week, even though he has a really tough draw and might have to replace Zverev, who beat him last week 
in Madrid. Being the last chance to get any form going into the French Open, I think Rafa's going to step up and show us all why he is the king of clay. So I'm going to go with Rafa this week to win in Rome. Again, let me know down in the comments below who do you think is going to win this one. So the Rome Open, it's a real big preview into what we might be seeing at the French Open in a couple of weeks.